Today in this video, we are going to discuss some of the important theorems on cardinal numbers of sets. Cardinal number of sets means the number of elements in the sets. So there are very important theorems on cardinal numbers of sets which are used very frequently in the study of sets theory. So let's start. Theorem 1, if A and B are two non-empty sets, then the cardinal number of A union B is equal to cardinal number of A plus cardinal number of B minus cardinal number of A intersection B or we may write it as cardinal number of A or B is equal to cardinal number of A plus cardinal number of B minus cardinal number of A and B. Now let's take an example. In a group of 800 people, 550 can speak Hindi and 450 can speak English. How many can speak both Hindi and English? So let the set of the people who speak Hindi is denoted by capital H and the set of the people who speak English is denoted by capital E. So, in a group of people of 800, in a group of 800 people, 550 can speak Hindi and 450 can speak English. So, cardinal number of H, that means the number of the members in the set H, which is the set of the people who speak Hindi. So, as it is given that 550 can speak Hindi, so number of the elements in the set H is 550 and 450 can speak English so cardinal number of set E is equal to 450. And there are total number of the people 800 who speak either of the two, two languages so the cardinal number of H union E. In this set, all the members, all the people who speak English or Hindi are included. So that is equal to 800. And we have to find out the number of the people who speak Hindi and English both. That is we have to find out and H intersection E as I have explained in the, my previous videos that intersection stands for and that means Hindi and English both the cardinal number we have to find out. So according to 
the theorem we have discussed n a union b is equal to n a plus n b minus n a intersection b or n a or b is equal to n a plus n b minus n a and b n h union e is equal to n h plus n e minus n h intersection e or we may write it as n h or e is equal to n h plus n e minus n h and e. So, number of people who speak Hindi or English, any one of these two or both of them is 800. So, we write n h union e or at n h or e as 800 n h is given as 550 plus n e is given as 450 minus we have to find out n h and e so transposing this term to left hand side and 800 to right hand side we get n h and e because on transposition the sign of this term will change it becomes positive and on the right hand side if we get the total of these two we have 1000 and transposing 800 to right hand side it will become 8 minus 800 so ultimately n h and e is equal to 200. So, 200 people can speak Hindi and English both and that is it. Now, theorem 2 and a minus b is equal to n a minus n a intersection b that is the cardinal number of the set a minus b is equal to cardinal number of a minus cardinal number of a intersection b or we may write in language the cardinal number of the set a but not b is equal to cardinal number of a minus cardinal number of a and b so let's take an example the example is in a group of 50 people 30 people can uh, 30 people speak hindi 25 speak both hindi, english and hindi and all the people speak at least one of the two languages how many people speak only english but not hindi so let's start let the set of the people who speak only who speak Hindi is equal to capital H and the set of the people who speak English is equal to capital E. Now in a group of 50 people, total number of the people are 50 and it is all also given in the problem that all of all the people speak at least one of the two languages. That means the number of the people who speak Hindi or English that is 50 total number, total number of the people. So 
cardinal number of H union E because in this set all the people are included who speak Hindi or English that is equal to 50. 30 people can speak Hindi so cardinal number of H is equal to 30 and 25 speak both the languages both English and Hindi so N H intersection E is equal to 25 and we have to find out how many people speak only English but not Hindi that is we have to find out cardinal number of E minus H English but not Hindi that is required so by the first theorem we know that N H union E is equal to N H plus N E minus N H intersection E N H union E is equal to 50 so write down 50 over here is equal to N H is equal to 30 so write down 30 plus N E it is not given in the problem minus N H intersection E because it is given as 25 so write down 25 over here so 50 is equal to 30 minus 25 that is 5 plus N E transposing 5 to this side becomes 50 minus 5 that is 45 so we get N E is equal to 45. Now by theorem 2 n a minus b is equal to n a minus n a intersection b so n e minus h is equal to n e minus n e intersection h so n e we have found 45 minus and n e intersection h or h intersection e that is 25 20 So, number of the people who speak English but not Hindi is equal to 20 and that is it. There is another method to solve problems on cardinality of sets that is called Venn diagram method. So, let us talk about it. We have taken the same example which we have solved by the theorem to in a group of 50 people 30 people speak Hindi 25 speak both English and Hindi and all the people speak at least one of the like two languages how many speak only English and not Hindi this is the problem so in this method what we have to do we make a, a rectangle showing universal set and we take as many circles as there are the groups of specified groups in the problem so there are two groups of the people mainly the the group of the people who speak hindi and the other the group of the people who speak english so we take two intersecting circles this circle shows the set of people who speak Hindi and the other circle shows the people who speak English. Then we write three arbitrary letters A, B, C in the different segments showing this diagram A here B in the common space and C in E but not in H. 
So, in a group of 50 people, 50 is the total number of the people. So, we take A plus B plus C, all the people. A plus B plus C is equal to 50 and let it be equation number 1. Then we see uh, 30 people speak Hindi. So, we see the set of Hindi, how many letters are there, which are the letters A and B inside H. So, 30 speak Hindi means A plus B is equal to 30. Let it be equation number 2. And 25 speak both English and Hindi. Both English and Hindi. That means we have to observe the portion which is common in the set H and in the set E. That means the common portion of these two circles that is this portion and there is B. So B is equal to 25 because 25 people speak both English and Hindi. So we have to take only element common between these two sets. So let it be equation number 3. Now what we have to do, how we have to find out how many people speak only English and not Hindi. That means the space which E contains but not H. That means this space in which we see the letter C. That means we have to find out the value of C which shows number of the people who speak English but not Hindi. So C we have to find out. So, simple, first we have to write down a plus b is equal to 30. So, from equation 2, substituting, substituting the value of a plus b in equation 1. Here a plus b, there is a plus b in equation number 2 and it is equal to 30. So, we may substitute 30 in place of a plus b in equation number 1. So, we have 30 plus c is equal to 50. So, transposing 30 to right hand side we get c is equal to 50 minus 30 and so C is equal to 20. So there are 20 people who speak English and not Hindi. Hence, there are 20 people who speak only English. and not Hindi. So, this is a very good method to find, um, to solve the problems based on cardinality of sets. We may also use the same method in case of three distinct sets as here in this problem there are only two such distinct sets but if there are more sets distinct sets discussed in a problem like three sets or four sets the same Venn diagram method can be used to solve the problem.